Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can restart an interrupted uh, restore sequence. So before we proceed ahead with this video, I would request you guys to please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon and select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos. Before we proceed with the video, I would like you guys to remember some points. So I would like you guys to watch video till the end to gain better clarity of the concepts we are discussing. And if possible, watch my video twice to get uh, to gain better clarity. And do the exercises in your lab environment with lab databases or test databases, I can say, to get better practical experience. And third point is that we would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos. So please share your comments on this video and uh, share your stories uh, regarding any real any real situations where you have applied uh, or practically applied my videos or used my videos. So let's come back to a topic which is how you can restart an interrupted uh, restore sequence uh, inside SQL Server. So let me take you to my notes quickly. So let's go back to the notes. So here we are talking about a rest restarted uh, restore sequence. So sometimes if there is an issue encountered during the restore operation, you can quit it and restart the restore sequence over from the start. For example, if you accidentally restore too many log backups and overshoot an intended recovery point, you must restart the restore sequence up to the log backup that contains the target recovery point. So uh, let's go through a demo where which demonstrate this concepts. So here we will discuss about how you can uh, restart an interrupted uh, restore operation. So let's go to a SQL Server. I have created a file for you. Uh, let me uh, refresh this. And uh, we we are using Northwind database in this scenario. And let's clear out any backups uh, which will be available in C drive, program files. Microsoft SQL Server, select your instance, MySQL folder, under that there is a backup folder, go inside that. And for now I'm removing the backup file that we had taken earlier. So let me open up my query, uh, the saved query, so I'm opening that. So here we will go through some sequences of steps. So let me discuss how you can restart and interpret restore operation so here we are taking an example of Northwind database so first of first step is I'm taking is uh, I'm taking a full database backup of Northwind database so let's go ahead and take this database backup in a Northwind back dot dot back database file so I'm taking a full backup let's click execute so a full database backup is taken and a file is uh, placed over here Northwind back so I'm after that uh, now the backup is taken I'm taking the tail of the log backup so there are some transactions which are not yet committed to the database so I'm taking tail of log backup so that are still in the transaction log so I'm taking backup for that so this backup I'm storing restoring it in a different not restoring I'm taking backup in a different file so here I'm selecting the no recovery option so so this is the start of a restore sequence I can say. So here we are restarting the restore sequence. So up till now we have taken, we have a full database backup that we usually have. So here we are restarting a, or starting up a restore sequence. So for that I need to ta start with taking a tail log backup first. So this is the series of commands you can write these. So backup log Northwind data command, uh, database command can be used to take a backup of the transaction log file. Here I'm using the no recovery option, so database will go to the no recovery state or recovering state, I, I would say. So let's take a tail of log backup. So it is saying it is in use by this session, so let's, let's uh, select the master database so that this command can run. Now take the tail of log backup backup is taken successfully now if we refresh the databases section you will see that Northwind is in restoring state right now 
So we cannot use this database at this moment till it's in restoring state. So, so far we have take the, uh, gone with the step one of restore sequence. So we have taken the tail log backup. Next step is to restore the full database backup. That should be the first step or the second step in the restore sequence. So this was a step one where we had taken the tail of log backup. Now we are restoring the full database backup with no recovery. So after restoring the database, uh, full database backup, the database will still be in re uh, restoring state because we have used no recovery option. So let's execute that. So at this point, our full database backup is restored. If we refresh the database is still in a recovering state. So at this point, we are restoring tail of log backup with full recovery so that it comes out of the restoring state. So let's do that. Now the tail of back, uh, log backup is restored. So the database must have come out of the restoring state. Now we can use it at this point. But all of a sudden, at this point, we realize that we do not want to restore the tail of log backup. We want a restoration till the full database backup. So what we can do at this point, we need to restart the restore operation. So basically at this point we realize that we do not want to restore the tail of log backup, but we want to restore till the full database backup. So what we will do, we will restart the restore operation. So what should be the restore sequence once again? So first of all, you need to take the backup of uh, tail of log backup once again because the database is restored. So take a tail log backup. So let's do that. Tail log tail of log backup is done. Now next step is to now we just want to restore the full database backup. So what we will do? We will restore database and we are restarting this operation here and we are restoring it with full recovery. After that we will will not do anything. We will not restore any log log backups. So you realize we, we have used restart option and this because uh, we are restarting a restore operation. So I hope guys you got the idea of the restart or restart of restore sequences uh, during the restore operations uh, of the database. So I would like to know your comments regarding this video. Please post your comments under the comment section and uh, do hit like button if you really like this video. And do share this video with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to get updates regarding my future videos. I thank you once again for your time on this and you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.